In a tiny climate-controlled shipping container in Canberra, researchers are trying to get critically endangered native mice to mate. We slowly introduce the male and the female together over a period of days, about a week. We have a setup that allows them to sort of smell each other and start communicating in ways before they're physically introduced and able to actually interact. This just helps them feel more secure with each other to start to bond before we give them access to each other and then, and then most of the time it goes really well. Unlike the common mouse, smoky mice do not breed in plague proportions. With up to eight offspring a year, they struggle to survive in the wild with feral cats, habitat loss and limited prospects on the mating scene. Essentially your options for a mate are quite limited and the risk of breeding with related animals increases um, and we call that inbreeding. So as in inbreeding increases, we lose genetic diversity. The smoky mouse isn't the only species in a dwindling gene pool. A groundbreaking global study has revealed an alarming decline in genetic diversity across species worldwide. Published in the scientific journal Nature, it was an extraordinary international effort. 57 scientists from 20 countries trawling through over 80,000 scientific articles published across 30 years. What we found was genetic diversity is declining globally. So there was an overall loss of genetic diversity across the tree of life. This was particularly bad for mammals and birds. That's largely being driven by land use changes, feral animals, disease, climate change and human activities like hunting and logging. But they also found positive news. The conservation actions we found uh, were associated with an increase in genetic diversity or a maintenance of genetic diversity, so no loss, were supplementation. So adding new individuals to a population. What I want people to take away from this is that if we invest in these things, we can make a change. For the smoky mouse, that process starts with release into a predator-free enclosure with food, water and a pre-dug burrow. It's basically a bucket in the ground with a pipe coming out of it that I've buried for them. Protecting the resilience of species, great and small. Lish Fayer, ABC News, Canberra.